What's up YouTube, it's your boy Ray, better known as Still Live HD, and what I got for you guys today is the first installment of my Road to Battlefield 3 series. Here I'll be covering everything from tips and tricks and strategies used by me and my squad to gain the W on the battlefield. This is also to help the Call of Duty players that want to make the transition, but don't want to get hit too hard along the way. So definitely stay tuned, you'll learn a couple of things, I'll learn a couple of things along the way, and just, I hope you guys enjoy this. So thanks for watching guys. Okay guys, we're 25 kills in and I'm defending this area that I like to call the spine due to the fact most defenders turn their back to it. This area of high importance runs from the base all the way up to the roof. So definitely keep the defense tight on it guys. Keep that back door locked because all it takes is one enemy spawning their whole squad and the tides of battle will quickly turn against you. And once you lose control of this warehouse, it is very difficult to regain it. So definitely keep the defense up on that area. Make sure to watch out what's going on. So we had lost B and we were kind of scrambling around trying to figure out how we were going to go about fixing it due to the fact we lost cover on one side. We could get hit either from the top or from the sides or from back here from the spine. But pretty much I said I was going to cover roof and surroundings and that warehouse up front right there, that unfinished one, definitely a sweet spot for snipers. They'll pick you off from there. Keep moving if you're going to stay on the roof. And this skylight, watch this, perfect example. Boom, took him out, he was not expecting that. So if you have ammo crates, definitely use it. Which brings me to my next point. Each kit has its specialty items. As the assault has uh, attachments like the grenade launcher, shotgun, or the smoke grenade launcher, as well as ammo crates. You drop that, you're gonna be set. So right there, I almost got killed, jumped down due to the fact that Bear Grylls said there was someone out there. So I said, oh, all right, let me go spotted out since that's my area he was covering second floor and Naroxis was covering spine and surroundings i think uh Naroxis was dead at the time so i ran out there quick reflexes guys you have to have it teamwork bear grills was calling this guy out and i definitely went took care of that so teamwork this game is it just heavily relies on teamwork guys if you want to win you have to play with a good squad and you'll pub stomp, guys. Because a four-man group can take out a 12-man group anytime if you guys know how to coordinate your attacks. So, right here, there was another call-out. I think it was Naroxis that called this one out. So, you know, this guy, look at that. That's what you get for trying to grenade us from back there. He would have gotten us if he had known how to toss a grenade right. But, guys, burst fire weapons. Bursting the gun from medium to long range is highly effective. Close range, I'd say anywhere from... 15 to 20 feet you can fully auto it but anything more than that i like to burst fire you have to use your attachments you have to use your perks as as uh, you guys would call them you know to the fullest you get three specializations i usually run the red dot magnum ammo and the third one is more for vehicles here i made a rookie mistake i i went out on the roof no cover i was hurting came down here thinking i was safe there was no cover the wall next to me was out and that sniper in their spawn got me. So definitely want to stay by cover. Try to stick to the shadows. At least that's the way I play. I try to be a bit more sneaky. I'm very aggressive, but I do play the objective. And right there, I just spawned and look at this. Assisted in that kill, and I got it, actually. He was not happy about it, but I was like, hey, be happy that you got an assist. Then be six feet under right now. Because that's what's going to happen. Two to one, guys. Anybody can figure it out. Two guys are better than one. And I don't mean that in any homo way at all. <laughs> but definitely want to stick close to your teammates. But not too close because one well-placed rocket or a grenade from the grenade launcher will take you all out. So just stay close. Drop ammo. Don't worry about it. It's not going to cost you anything. What's a couple second uh, respawn time for it? So look at that, guys. We're completely demolishing them. There, Here I made a rookie mistake. This is where the Call of Duty noob tubing would have worked out for me because I would have been able to take out one of them clean you know no problems at all but I didn't do that you know I tried picking them off with the gun didn't work so cover guys as I was talking about before cover is destructible in this game 
which is good and bad. It's good if you're defending certain areas due to the fact you will flush out the attackers because they won't have any cover. It's bad though because some of the of, of these uh, objectives they are destructible. You take out enough walls that building's gonna come down, you lose a site, boom. You lose points for that. You you either gain points by defusing, losing points by hurting the objective or killing teammates. And guys, you just gotta be aggressive but know when to back away. In this game, defending, this is a very aggressive game of defense that I've played. Now here, I wasn't looking at my surroundings and I was so busy trying to get that kill that that guy in the bus got me. Check your surroundings, guys. If you're in a warehouse or in a building in this game, check every room. Make sure it's clean. You know, definitely will help you get the victory. So if you play like that, <coughs> you won't have a problem. And thank you guys for watching. This is the end of the first installment of my series. So please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. It does mean a lot. And we'll have a couple more episodes coming out. I will be reviewing a few guns. And, yeah, anything else you guys want to see, just leave a message in the section below. And I will definitely reply back and see what I can do. Have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.